Hey guys, I'm Richard Gaspard, Product Specialist at Presonus, and in this video we're going to talk about the channel strip in Fadaport 8 and Fadaport 16. Uh, we're going to look at the channel strip and the button modifiers and how they are used in Logic Pro. This correlates with section 4.2 in your manual. So, let's begin. Alright, so a few things we're going to look at on the channel strip. It's going to be difficult for you to be able to see what's happening in uh, these little LED strips, but um, You'll be able to see on your actual unit, channel name, which displays obviously the channel name, uh, metering as you play your tune, you'll be able to see what's happening um, you know, with your signal there. Uh, the value number, which is where the fader is. Um, and then your pan display is at the bottom. You can see that left to right. This is your pan and parameter knob. It controls panning for the currently selected channels. It also does some other features that we'll cover in another video. Uh, the select button chooses which track to highlight. The solo button obviously allows you to solo the channel and the mute button allows you to mute your channels. Uh, then we have our touch sensitive fader, it's 100 millimeter motorized fader. Alright, so some select button modifiers. We have our arm. Pressing the arm button will allow you to arm channels for recording. You can see it's flashing there. It's ready to record. Um, you can do an arm all if you shift. And so anything that you select is going to um, arm. And um, only two of them lit up because I only have two uh, inputs on my interface. You can see solo clear. If I have this soloed, I can solo clear it. And if um, if you have something muted, you can also do a mute clear. Now we also have our select button editing functions. Um, that's up here: track mode, editing plugins, and sends. Uh, track mode, when this active, the pan and parameter encoder will control the pan position for that track. Edit plugins, we're going to get to this in a different video, but this allows us to access all of the dynamics and effects processing that's on all of our channels, and we can move those parameter arounds from the fader. Pretty cool. We'll, we'll get to that in another video. And then sends, same thing. When sends mode is active, the aux sends uh, for the selective channel will be displayed. So we're going to get to some of that in another video as well. We want to help you unlock your creativity as you use your fader port with Logic Pro. And we want to give you as many resources as we can to help you do that. Music is our life. Presonus is our day job. Thanks for watching.